So today's video, I'm gonna start off a little bit different than I normally do. I'm actually gonna start off with a question. What is the lowest temperature range that you will actually still take the bike out and go for a ride? Is it 50 degrees, 40 degrees, 30 degrees, or even down to 20 degrees? Guys, my name is Rick and this is the HD Vibe Channel. As you're watching this video, what I'd like you to do is answer that question with a simple 50, 40, 30, or 20. My answer to that question is pretty simple. I'll ride if it's in the 30s. Guys, in today's video, what I'm gonna do is show you a piece of gear that's gonna make those cold weather rides even more comfortable. It's a product that Kimi Moto sent me a few weeks ago, and I've been testing it out both on the bike and just doing some things around the house or even at my office. And we'll get into it right after this. So guys, what is your answer? Leave again down in the comments section, 50, 40, 30, or 20. I'd be curious to see what is the lowest temperature you guys are willing to ride in. Well, in today's video, we're gonna talk about a product that Kimi Moto sent me that I've been testing out for a number of weeks now, both on the bike or just out in the yard or even at my office that will help you be more comfortable when you're out on those cold rides and maybe even get you to ride in the temperature that may be a little bit lower than you normally would. That's right guys, we're gonna be talking about this vest. It looks like a normal puffer vest, but it's actually a battery operated heated vest that also has a feature that I've never seen on any of these vests. And this is a huge, huge improvement over the prior heated vest that Kimi Moto has put out and others have put out. So a couple of things about this. So one, it's battery operated. So you do get a battery that comes with it. Uh, when I pulled it out of the box, that battery was charged at about 65%. I plugged it into a USB-C, charged it up. It probably took less than an hour to go from 65% to 100%. So quick charge. Talking about that battery, the important thing is how long does that last? Well, on the low temperature setting, Kimi Moto claims this will last up to eight hours. Now I've worn this vest for two, three, four hours at a time and alternating temperatures. And I've never had the battery run down below 65%. And that battery goes in a little pocket right here that you unzip. And that is the battery pack right here. And if you wanna check the actual percentage that's available. There's just a slight button on the side here. And right now I've been wearing this throughout the day today. It is actually at 73%. So I probably worn this a good couple of hours, maybe even a little bit more than that. And this cord is right here. You just plug it in to that port on there and that battery is ready to go. Put it back in its little zipper pouch and zip it up and you're good to go. As with most battery operated vests, again, you're gonna get less run time than if you plug some heated gear into the bike. But the thing I don't like about plugging gear on bikes, unless I'm gonna be on a long, long trip is, I typically forget that I have it plugged in. Then I step off the bike and I have a cord pulling me back over onto the bike. And sometimes that doesn't work out well, then those cords are pulling and maybe you've damaged either the cord that's running into the bike or the cord running into your jacket or your other heated gear. So for me, for short trips, this battery type heated gear works best for me. Now, the interesting thing, this is a thermal reflective. And if you saw the inside of this, it has this lining in here. But honestly, it is a strange sensation. I tried it and I thought I was just feeling things. I also had a family member try this on, but as soon as you zip this up, you feel your body heat radiating within this vest and it actually keeps you warm without even turning it on. So it is interesting and I think Kimi Moto's taking a little bit of a playbook out of Columbia. They have the Omni Heats and I've used Omni Heat jackets and vests for a number of years. They're not heated like this one is, but they have a similar material inside. I'm gonna show you that real quick. This is my Omni Heat jacket, the full jacket. It has, again, this very similar thermal type lining that this Kimimoto vest has. It has it all the way down the sleeves as well as throughout the jacket. So the concept is really the same on this. And I've always really liked these Omni Heat jackets from Columbia. So, I'm sold on that feature 
on this vest. The other unique thing is, not too dissimilar from other heated vests or heated gears, you just hold this down for a few seconds, the light goes on, and you can see it's red, and that means it's on the highest heat setting. You hit it again, it goes to blue, that's medium, you hit it one more time, it goes to green, that's the lowest setting. But a couple more unique features on this controller is that one, you can turn the light off. You just hit the white button down below. The vest is still warming, it's already warmed up. It warms up really, really quick with that thermal lining in there, but it's still on. Now, if I hit that again, it comes back. As you see, I had it on the lowest setting. The other unique feature is you can control the three heating zones in this vest. So there's one up here in the neck, which is actually really, really nice. There's these pocket liners. You hold on to these and heat comes off of that. And then that heat actually radiates kind of through here. And then there's heating elements in the back of that. So there's just three zones, but you can individually control these zones by just hitting the button for each of the zones. So if I want to turn up the neck and the back, I hit those two buttons and you can see they're red, but the pocket, the hand warmers are still on the low setting being green. Or I can go that way, or I can change that to medium. So you can adjust those zones. So if you're getting too warm in one area, say the neck, and that really, really heats up quick, you can adjust all three of those, which is really a unique feature. I've never seen that feature in any of the battery operated type heated gear before. The other nice thing that I think is a huge improvement over the prior versions of the Kimimoto heated vests is it actually, the zipper is operated with your right hand versus your left hand. That is a nice feature on this. This vest works just as just like any other men's vest. Now oh. this is unisex. So the ladies typically I think will zip on the left and the men's will on the right. These are on the right. My other Kimimoto vest zipped on the left. So I prefer the zipper being on the right side and being operated with my right hand. So sizing wise, this is a large. It's actually a little big and I went by the sizing chart that you'll see right here. The medium said 36 to 38, and my chest actually measures between 40 and 41. So based upon that chart, it would say it's a large, but then if you look down below that, you look at the sizing of the actual measurements of the vest, I think this large says it's like 47 inches or something like that. So I'm assuming to fit over like some clothing, but I've got this flannel shirt on, and this large is still a little big. Um, it does have this side that is very flexible. You can see it kind of stretches here. So I'm actually reordering a medium in this one. So this large is actually gonna go to a family member that's just a little bit larger than me and he'll really enjoy this as well. So now let's talk about the price. So right now, this on the Kimimoto website, and again, I will have the link directly to this and the discount code down in the description is $99.99, which is really a good price in and of itself. And it does come with that battery. So it's kind of as you've seen it, as I've shown you this, it does come with all of that for $99.99. Now through the release of this video through December 24th, 2024, Kimimoto has put together a discount code, which is HDVibe20, which will save you 20% off this vest or anything on their website. This is unusual. Typically, they don't give me discount codes for anything, but in this case, they're gonna apply it to this vest or 20% off anything on their website. So go check that out. Again, use that code HDVibe20 to save you 20% on this vest or anything on the Kimimoto website. So guys, there's lots of things we can do to make our cold weather rides more comfortable. We can put heated grips on our bikes. We can wear heated gear like this, battery operated. You can get the plug-in gear, but I like, again, for those short rides, this battery operated type gear, and this thing is super warm. These pockets are almost so warm that I would probably turn those down to low. This neck piece up here is incredible. It's super warm, and the back, I think if I get the smaller size, which would fit a little bit tighter, is gonna give me a little bit more warmth, but then again, if I slip my leather coat over this, which will be no problem, that will just hold all of that heat in there and make those cold weather rides even more comfortable. So guys, if you wanna see how to install heated grips on your Batwing bike, check out this video. 
If you want to check out how to install heated grips on your fixed fairing bike, check that video out. And don't forget to hit this right up here to subscribe to the HD Vibe channel.